All right, YouTubers. Another trip. It's supposed to be my spring trip, but it sounds like it might snow. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. So uh, as soon as I get moving, Vin, as soon as I get moving, uh, get, get to recording out the window. Maybe I'll ramble a little bit. Vinny, we're backing up, brother. This is to my secret place that I like a lot. And uh, enjoy some basic just camping. You know, campfires, hiking, going to the lake, all that kind of good stuff. Um, been looking forward to it, even though <laughs> it's supposed to be spring and they're saying it might snow. So I'll do this video and we'll see what's gonna happen. I might ramble a little bit, I might show you some of the, the weather, because even though it's kind of cold, it's a nice sunny day. So I got a few hours of driving to do, so we're gonna do that. And see what happens. Alright. the crew set on speed limit so there we go all right I want to start off by saying happy Easter I'm driving on Easter and those little signs that the digital road signs <laughs> it said it said like drive excellent with egg and then it said somebody needs you funny b-u-n-n so bah ha ha and uh we'll do a little bit more uh time lapse here driving excellent the speed limit at the exit where Eddie's transmission got fixed. Water's high. I saw him up on the hill. You don't have to stop, dude. A little bit of a hike to get to where the transmission was done. Alright. We will not say that word again. Carrying on. And Indiana. And there's some serious flooding. Wow. What a mess. All right. That's my exit. What a mess. Hope the campground I'm going to is not flooded. It has a history of flooding. Today is opening day for it too, so uh, we'll see. They said everything was all right. Hey brother, you're killing me, man. You're killing me, Ben. Give him your room, dude. Go.
property. My Please goodness. For any carpet purchase over six hundred dollars. Oh, the unfun side. I'm going slow. This is uh looks like a National Guard convoy on Easter Sunday. Alright. Alright, it's 55 now. You need to go up there. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet because you don't want to hear it, do you? <laughs> when I'm passing people in my RV. Out for a Sunday drive. You're killing me, Vin. You're killing me. Seymour, Indiana. A lot of flooding here, too. Fork of the White River, and it is full. a lot of water. And the runner at first and he pulls this one foul down Look beyond the third. That's a long time back there in the corner, girly. It came up at a bouncy time. You want your coffee pot, probably. You can smell Vinny if you need to. There you go. All up in the coffee pot. There you go. The world is normal again. That was a long time back there. Had to, squeeze, had to squeeze past that uh, propane tank, didn't you? Alright, so I might as well start doing a ramble. Um, I did a ramble the other day about um, making it like a process to get to full timing that I think, you know, people should get a feel for it before just jumping off, you know, jumping in the deep end and not knowing how to swim. Got a few comments. The one thing I wanted to say first off, straight off the bat was I wasn't meaning that towards anybody that may give different advice. Um, I haven't really watched any videos of people giving different advice, but apparently that happens. <laughs> you know, apparently there's people out there saying just don't waste one second, just straight up do it. I don't know who those channels would be saying that. And for some people, like I said in that video, that's great advice. But I really think getting a feel for it and learning what RVing is is a better way to go my personal opinion but again 
it's that whole grain of salt thing I think you use YouTube to see what people have to offer see what you like see what you can incorporate and then once you're out there doing it you're again taking information and see it if that works real world for you because watching a whole bunch of videos like I did like most people do I watched a bunch and it gave me a good idea but there's nothing like doing it you know there's nothing like the first-hand experience of actually going RV in um, I figured I would ramble here because even though most of the trees might be starting to bloom this is a little nicer section of this drive a little bit of windiness I was really hoping that spring would have sprung but spring's kind of hanging out waiting for winter I think we had some warmer days in January than we've had the last few but I've been needing this it's been a little bit something a little bit better about the world so I'll be cooking hiking checking out the lake there'll be boringness back to boringness but I just do videos that I think I like now I watch my old ones and I don't know why anybody watches them but I hope that I've gotten a little bit better but my content is still what it is and I make no apologies for it um, I don't like drama so there's none of that and just to me just sharing my why I go RVing my favorite saying you know you got to figure out your why and for me getting out in a little bit of nature that's my why all right so that's enough rambling for now Stop to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thursday. So this is my spring trip. And what I like about spring trips is they seem to get the real season going, you know? So, um... I tend to go to this place a lot because I like it, um, because it's cheap. It's like my secret spot, I said before. But now I'm, I'm in that mind process of deciding where I want to wander to this summer. Um, I've made up my mind. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about it over the winter, and there's just so many places I want to go and maybe maybe when I was talking about full time and versus part time and maybe that's kind of the fun part about you know a whole lot of time in that I'm doing is the time that I'm not RVing I'm trying to figure out where I could go you know and I'll never get to see it all because when I started this I thought I would I would go a lot faster that I would move move more and for the first bit I did and especially last summer I realized that I like taking my time a little bit more when I did so much of the UP and uh, you know all the way to, to Minnesota I liked the pace that I went that I wasn't just sleeping at a flying J and then keeping going. You know, I liked I liked getting into an area and spending a little bit of time and actually getting a feel for it. And, and whatever way you do it is fine. I think I used to just do so much. So much of my traveling was all about the destination and go 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 and 
zooming past so many things and it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would to break that way of thinking and now I found that I, I really enjoy the slowing it down the spending three days instead of one day at a place or longer <laughs> but another thing too I think if you're gonna RV a lot of people find if you're driving a lot staying someplace two days is kind of good for yourself for your body because you know a lot of times if you're just out driving you drive all day you get someplace kind of late and then the next day you're back on the road and at it again and I think spending an extra like a full day can really make your trips more fun more enjoyable if that's how you are I mean again I don't know you <laughs> that's why you just got to try to figure out what you think you'd like to do and if you haven't done this before dude you don't have to stop to do it but um experiment if you're gonna start RVing soon just try different ways you know try drive 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 sleeping in a parking lot somewhere and then try stay in places for a while and the beauty of it is these things are just a room with a view if, if you don't like your neighbors if you don't like the scenery turn the key and find a new backyard you know that's all I'm thinking no rocket surgery here which is a pun because I know it's rocket science and brain surgery I melded them into something silly sometimes you gotta explain people think you're dense if you don't so yeah I'm excited about this I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit warmer I'm not one that complains too much about it being cold but uh, it's gonna be below freezing uh, I think a few days the next the next little bit so we'll hold off on some stuff I got some projects I might do or I might wait till I'm back at the house that I should have already done I was doing other junk and not motivated to do some of the things when I wasn't RVing that I should have done when I wasn't RVing. Which I'll probably do when I'm done RVing. <laughs> but, having a good day. Alright, we'll speed you through this a little bit here. See, the place I'm going is always a destination for me and I, I often consider stopping in some places along the way but I never seem to. Maybe one of these days. It's a nice little drive. There's nice hiking trails here. I like the lake. Maybe that family of beavers that I would go watch swim by will be back this year. I think uh, I think last year they had moved their lodge because they had a lodge that they swam right by the dock every night around sunset. And last year they didn't really do it. So we'll see. Maybe they'll be back. So that's a nice little stretch of woods. I'm going to say have a great and wonderful day, but I might throw some more in here. I don't know yet. Well, I'll probably throw dinner and a look at the lake real quick. Make it like a day in the life of instead of just driving. All right, so uh, have a great and wonderful for right now, and then I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, we're almost to the campground, right, Keek? Oh, she's going back up. All right, we're here. We are here. The woods look good. Oh, you two cats are killing me, man. No, you're not 
not going up on the dash. I did not bring my scooter thing. Little, uh, whatever you call those things. I didn't bring it. Because it's cold. <laughs> I even put a new carburetor on it, so it was running better last time I messed with it, but I did not bring it. It's getting harder to find places that legally you can ride those things. You don't like to ride them around campgrounds because they're loud. You can't really ride them on a lot of streets because you can't put a plate on them. So, you got left behind. The lake is way up. No surprise with all the flooding. Way, way, way up. I said hopefully you'll see I see the beavers and maybe even there's a bald eagle nest maybe even they'll be around that would be nice and all these great hiking trails I need to get hiking because I've been lazy over the winter and although I'm blessed with uh, good genes where I, I can eat all the friggin carbs on the planet it's slowly starting to catch up to me. Get down. Come on. Can't be up there. No. That doesn't happen to you very often. Kind of got in trouble. Happily, the campground wasn't flooded, and everybody's happy that we made it. This lake is so high. I've never seen it this high. Fancy meal, broccoli, and those sausages. Hold on. So, lime juice on the broccoli. And sriracha, of course. Right, Vin? Because what's it doing? It's raining! <laughs> Alright, that's the end of that. Have a great and wonderful day. Now that's some nice music. I scared them all off. <laughs> I came down to see if the family of beavers is going to swim by. But it's not going to last long because it is cold, it is raining, and it might snow. 